Hi, this is the love story reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising for the next three to four weeks. And I'm going to be looking at your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with. This could be someone from the past. It could be someone you're currently involved with. And it could also be someone you're likely to come across and attract during this time. Uh, this is a timeless reading, but I'm doing this in Pisces season. So a lot of those themes uh, could play out. All right. So let's start with the energy of the person that you're dealing with. How are they coming across? What are they thinking of? And what is their most likely action? Okay. Queen of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> Not the most inviting sort of energy. It could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or at least they are embodying this sort of energy right now. The Knight of Wands. And I want one more. Page of Wands. Okay. So I feel like they are thinking of approaching you. They are thinking of messaging you. Communicating with you. Um, very, very passionate. Okay. There's a lot of passion in their heart towards you and they want to approach you come towards you perhaps take this leap of faith towards you and incidentally the hierophant is called faith in some decks so <laughs> they're, they're putting a lot of thought in it so even if you know in their heart they're feeling all impulsive and they want to go 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 uh, they are also being quite um, I would say nonchalant about it on the outside okay and they are giving a due consideration a lot of thought okay bottom of the deck we have the sun so i feel like there's a strong chemistry here there's a strong connection at least that's how they are coming across okay uh this could be someone entirely new someone who you come across very surprisingly, you know, serendipitously. In terms of signs, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sag, as well as uh, Taurus and uh, Aquarius for me. But there's something that they're thinking a lot about. They are trying to be decisive about. Okay, let's find out what that is. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Judgment. So this could actually be someone from your past who wants to reconcile with you. They want to come in and surprise you perhaps with a commitment this time around. Something official. Seven of Wands. It could be somebody who you may have pushed away. Okay. And they may also be quite guarded at the moment. Alright. Um, but I feel like they are in the process of shedding a lot of their inhibitions towards you and towards connections and relationships in general. Let's see where your energy is at, Aries. Wow. <laughs> the tower. Boom. <laughs> okay. Interesting. We have the chariot. Hmm. King of Cups, the Hangman, okay, so you've got a lot of watery energy here, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, alright, what's your most likely action, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, okay, Six of Cups and Judgment. This could definitely be somebody from your past, okay? From many of you. Um, and the Emperor. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There is some communication coming towards you and they do want to communicate. We saw that with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands there. I want to find out what this tower is about. What is this tower about? 
Ace of Pentacles and the World. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I don't think you're expecting this. Um, the Hermit is number nine and all the nines go back to the Hermit. They are a very individualistic, independent, a bit of a loner kind of energy, okay? At least that's the phase that you're in. I feel like you're working a lot on yourself, okay? You've surrendered to the divine, let go of any control. You're focusing on your goals, on your work, on building, you know, your wealth, security, career, all of that. You're very focused and driven, I feel, like, Focus on yourself, okay? Very determined as well. And there's a lot of this healing happening, I feel, in your mind and heart. But with the tower there, um, it feels like you're preparing yourself for a new beginning, okay? And this is coming after a tower moment. And incidentally, You've got the world here and they have the fool. So the fool is the next card after the world. That's the new beginning. You have, I feel, there's something that's happened in the past that you, that shocked you, that surprised you. But you've put that behind you. You've got the wisdom now with the world card there. Um that allows you to open up to a new connection, a new cycle. And yet you're not in a hurry, you've surrendered, you know, you've let go, you're willing to see what happens, you're willing to just uh, let things unfold naturally. Now, if this is somebody from the past, in the meanwhile, whilst you're working on yourself and focusing on, on yourself and your goals, they are thinking about approaching you. You haven't left their mind, okay? And it could definitely be that something was keeping this person initially from fully being themselves with you and fully committing to you in a way uh, or making, you know, being emotionally available. And now they are releasing themselves from that, I feel, okay? Where is this heading? Ten of Pentacles. Oops. So these two cards came out. And three of them. Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. What's this about the Seven of Swords? Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You know what I feel? Um, that there is going to be communication firstly. Okay. And secondly, you're in this space where you have really, like you're glowing up in a way. Okay. And this op often happens after we let go of something. After we've, we've torn our attention and our awareness towards ourselves and towards our healing towards our growth so you're glowing up and i feel like you have um you're in this comfortable space of the queen of pentacles wherein you recognize your self-worth you are not in a hurry you're like yeah okay if someone comes towards me i'll you know give it some thought but i'm very comfortable and i'm very happy with where i am right now so I'm not in a rush at all. But when this person approaches you or this communication comes towards you, there is a hesitance. There is, I feel, some trust issues either on your part or on their part, you know, most likely on your part about whether this is somebody who means business or not, someone who's willing to put in their side of effort or not whether or not they are going to uh, invest in this connection or not, okay? That's what I feel is going on here and likely to happen. 
although there is a potential here for you to reach this ten of pentacles with each other okay which is a state of you know uh, a committed partnership however that looks for you all right in modern times it's it's different for different people teamwork integrity and loyalty at the bottom of the deck I do feel like they want to approach you now with a balanced connection and beneath the seven of pentacles we have the knight of pentacles yeah I I feel like they have changed as a person they want to do things right and here we have the knight of cups okay so I would certainly expect this person to be at least slightly if not completely different from who they first were now if this is someone completely new coming towards you out of the blue it looks promising okay uh, just that you want to be wary of any trust issues that you have okay but also uh, the seven of swords is you know like our initial hesitance to be ourselves to be um, to come across with integrity to be who we really are and that's quite natural but of course if you're doubtful if you're suspicious that this person is not who they are portraying themselves to be then you want to listen to your intuition about that okay what's the what do they need to focus on or improve on in this uh, connection my best self i trust that when i'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself the right sort of relationships will appear in my life see you have done the work actually so keep doing that i'm proud of you um bottom of the deck thoughtfulness it's time to put your money where your mouth is and have fun showing your love i feel like this person Whoever this is who's approaching you, okay, could be an earth sign, could be any sign for that matter, but the advice here is, is to be authentic, okay, to act with integrity and try to like build consensus with each other and of course not settle for anything less than, you know, I mentioned that with the Queen of Pentacles. And when you're in this energy of the Nine of Pentacles, focusing on yourself, you know, building your own uh, empire, creating something for your own sense of security and well-being um, on your own paths, basically, that's when you're attracting the right kind of people towards you. And that's what's happening here, I feel, okay? And if this is someone from your past, they are seeing that, okay? They are also seeing that you are not the person who, you know, uh, who they probably knew from before. And that you have been working a lot on yourself. Worth waiting for. Let's get some more cards from my deck. soulmates deception okay and the one okay at the bottom of the deck we have true love so this could be the one or the one that you're attracting now could definitely be a promising soulmate okay soulmate doesn't mean that you it's you know the one and only one or anything we have multiple soulmates in life but it feels to me like this is someone worth investing in okay if you're able to um trust i feel okay 
what would they like to say to you what does this person want to say to you I've never told anyone the things I've told you okay I don't trust you <laughs> okay so it feels like it's mutual I got spooked by your love mm -hmm. everything reminds me of you okay I need some space for now please all right you inspire me to be a better person that's beautiful and at the bottom of the deck I didn't want to be used that is typically the reason why we adopt this seven of swords energy you know of not trusting in essence we're just afraid of being used afraid of being manipulated afraid of um, trusting okay afraid of taking that leap of faith because every relationship requires that especially intimate relationships and so this person may be approaching you with an open heart knowing your worth but um, at the same time they have some inhibitions maybe some trust issues and especially I feel that they they put you possibly on a pedestal in some way they might think that you know you're uh, you're better than them in some way okay or not really better than them I feel like the vibe that you send out is of somebody who doesn't really need someone okay and so that can be quite intimidating for certain people um, because then they get this wrong idea or this notion that this person can get up and leave anytime because they don't really need somebody they are really happy to be on their own okay although that's not exactly what you're trying to portray here and it's okay if you don't need someone it doesn't mean that you don't want someone right all right so what's the advice here for you what's the advice here for aries in this situation <laughs> Spend quality time together and we have physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. This is just about, you know, uh, coming closer together. I love you. These are powerful words. Maybe this person feels a bit intimidated by you because you're not all that expressive with the way you, um, you know, with your feelings. And they are someone who looks for that in the love language. Okay. Uh, what is this heading towards or what can they expect? Okay. What can Aries expect? So you had spent quality time together and now you have get to know each other. Do something for someone. Hmm ask for help this person might try to you know maybe the way they show that it, that they appreciate you is by um, doing something for you okay by you know uh, taking care of small errands helping you out in some way and that's their idea of allowing someone in and showing that they care true love wow love is all around you we had true love at the bottom of this deck as well so i think you're in for a good surprise here aries and i'm wishing you all the very best this is where i'm gonna leave you do take care of yourself hit the like button and let youtube know this is worth watching and if it's been useful um do take care and i'll see you again later bye bye